Good morning guys. I'm here at the Food Lion and uh, I'm just saying hi to you guys and uh, I've got my sign in the window. You can't see it but <laughs> you can't see it but it says Jesus is coming soon. I try to be a witness wherever I go and uh, I want to oh I want to show you my new cap that I got. I ordered this cap from Amazon and got one for my son for Christmas and then I got myself one because it's really good to wear around and it's really good for my street preaching so I got myself a new hat I'll show it to you right here hope you can see it, it says Christ the way the truth and the life and here's what makes it so special <laughs> from okay you're you're witnessing Christ from the front view you are witnessing Christ from the side. I love Jesus. This is so cool. I love this hat. They're only $12.95 on Amazon. I love this hat. And then, as if that isn't enough, people get the rear view. View, I love Jesus. <laughs> this makes this the coolest Jesus hat. I think I've ever seen because you're just witnessing for the Lord all the way around and it is so so awesome really awesome so yeah I just wanted to show you guys that I just uh, wanted to tell you guys I haven't been on here very much I've been doing some really heavy-duty spiritual warfare for family members and, and for friends and so I just haven't been on here very much and uh, you know we have to fight the enemy he's going about like a roaring lion seeking whom he may devour in these last of the last days and we're all going through it I really don't know anybody who isn't going through it and you know I feel like this is a, a time of testing from the Lord I feel like this is a time of you know, he's really letting us go through some things. And we have to endure until the end. We have to hang in there and endure until the end. And, uh, you know, use your spiritual warfare tools. If, if you're going through a really bad situation, you've got to use your, your warfare tools. You have to be a prayer warrior and uh, put on the armor, armor of God each day and... You know, God didn't leave us here powerless. I've told you guys this many times. He didn't leave us here powerless. We have the power to bind and loose. That whatever we bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatever we loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. So those are called the keys to the kingdom. He gave us the keys to the kingdom. He gave us those to fight with. Against these, you know, this wicked, wicked spirits, you know, and things. Uh, that are trying to plague us in these last of the last days. They're trying to tear us down. Satan wants to pull you away from God. He wants to affect and influence your walk with God. He wants to pull you away. He wants to tear you down. He wants to wear you down. You know, he wants to wear out the saints. And so I've really been going through a lot of stuff here. And uh, I just wanted to remind you guys to do that, you know, put on the armor of God each day, use the tools that he gave you, the keys to the kingdom, the power to bind and loose, you know, the power to pray against wickedness and come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. And so I just wanted to come on here and remind you guys of that. And I love you guys. We've got to hang in there. Be a light for Christ. Go out, you know, do whatever you can for Christ. We have, put, a, put a sign in your window like mine. You know, get out. Put out those Bible tracts. Get out on the street corner and preach for Jesus. Or at least hold up a sign letting everyone know he's coming soon. Letting everyone know that they need to repent. And, uh, you know, do whatever you can for the kingdom of God. You know, all these souls in a lost and dying world, we need to pray for them and pray that they come to Jesus in the little bit of time that we have left. And uh, so, you know, we've got to be prayer warriors. We're called to be end-time prayer warriors. You know, we were, think about it, you know, of all the times we could have been born, and this just blows my mind whenever I stop to think about it, all the times in history that we could have been born, we were born now for this hour, people. 
it's our privilege as hard as it is to go through the wicked end times it's also a great great privilege and a responsibility it's a responsibility on us because we could have born at any we could have been born at any time in history but the lord allowed for us and chose us to be born at this time in history because he has something for us to do he has something he has a ministry for each of us if not several he's got a ministry an end times ministry for you and i and we need to fulfill that you know we want to hear well done good and faithful servant he chose us for this time he chose you so you know stay in prayer get in prayer and ask him why he chose you you know lord why did you choose for me to be born right now that i would be going through the very last of the last days what do you want me to do for you lord you no know, we've got to get in prayer and stay in prayer and ask him that each day you know wake up in the morning and say what do you want me to do for you today lord what do you want me to do what is my assignment for this day for you lord so, okay, I'm going to go now, you guys, and, uh, you know, just stay in prayer. Use your, use your uh, tools against wickedness in high places. And, uh, you know, just hang in there. Be a light everywhere you go. Try to be a light for Christ. Show the fruit of the Spirit. Be a light for Him so that people will be drawn to that light, the unsaved will be drawn to that light and you can tell them about jesus christ okay guys i'm gonna go now i love you guys god bless you all